Good morning, everyone. Unit 8, off to work, means going to work. In your books, page number 16. What's the store? It's a bakery. A baker makes and sells cakes here. What else does a baker do? He makes bread. Look, it smells delicious. In your books, page number 17. Let's make a cake. Mix the butter and sugar. Number two, add the eggs and vanilla. Number three, add the milk and stir. Number four, add the flour and baking powder. Number five, put it in a pan. Number six, bake for 35 minutes. Our grammar part. What do you want to be and why? So, when I ask you, what do you want to be in the future? You will say, I want to be. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a vet. I want to be an engineer. I want to be a farmer. Okay? And why? Uh, you say, you start your answer with because. Like, what do you want to be and why? I want to be a doctor. Why? Because I want to help sick people. So, when I say, again, what do you want to be and why? I want to be a dentist. To check people's teeth. Okay? What do you want to be and why? I want to be a vet. Why? Because I want to help sick animals. Or to help sick animals. So here, notice that after because, we have a full sentence. I want to help sick animals. Subject, verb, and complement. Then, to, after to, comes the verb in infinitive form. To help sick animals. After to comes the verb in infinitive form. Our grammar part is WH questions. What asks about things? Like, what is she wearing? Here, we are asking about things, about a thing, about her clothes. So, what is she wearing? She is wearing a skirt. Okay, that's the thing we are asking about. So, what is this? It's a kite. So, what asks about things? What color are the girl's socks? So, we are asking about the color of the socks. So, here the answer will be they are white. Okay, so we are asking about a thing. The color is a thing. So, what color are the girl's socks? They are white. Okay. Next, we have who. We ask with who when we ask about a person. So, here we have who is wearing the red shoes. So, we are asking about a person. So, the answer will be the girl is wearing the red shoes. 
Or when I say, who is she? I'm asking about a person, so I will say, she is my mother. Our next grammar point is questions using verb to be. So, first, is she wearing a dress? I write yes, after yes I put comma, then I write the subject yes she, then verb to be, yes she is. With no, after no I put comma, then I write the subject she, no she, is, and with no I put not, no she isn't. Next we have, are they going to school? When I want to answer with yes, I put after yes, comma, after yes, we put comma, yes, and the subject is they, yes, they, verb to be, I will put are, so yes, they are. With no, I first write no, then comma, then I say they, because it's the subject, no, they, are, and with no, we put not. So, no, they are not, or no, they aren't. Both are correct. Good morning, everyone. Our grammar point for today is personal pronouns, possessive adjectives, and possessive pronouns. So, first we will start with personal pronouns. We use personal pronouns to avoid repeating nouns. Like when I say, Sara is my friend. Instead of saying, Sara is cute again, I say, she is cute. So, I avoid using the noun again. So, when I say, Ahmed is my friend, I don't repeat the noun as Ahmed. I don't repeat Ahmed again. I say, he is tall. I don't say Ahmed is tall again, okay? So, we use personal pronouns to avoid repeating nouns. We use possessive adjectives to tell that something belongs to me or to someone else. When I say, this is my sweater. These are our shoes. This is his shirt. These are your pants. Notice that, after possessive adjectives, there is a noun. Possessive adjectives are always followed by nouns. Possessive pronouns. When do we use possessive pronouns? When we want to tell that something belongs to someone, but without mentioning the noun after it. Like, this is my sweater. It is mine. Notice that after my... I put a noun, but after mine, we didn't put anything. So, next one, these are our shoes. They are ours. Again, after our, there is shoes, there is a noun, but after ours, there is nothing. The next one, this is his shirt. It's his. So, here, we have his, so both are his, possessive adjective and possessive pronouns. So, but we can tell the difference between them when we look to the word after his. If there is a word, if there is a noun, we will tell that this is a possessive adjective. 